this is a great lesson for all of us, and this is how business works if you've never done this. I've done it for 50 plus years, and you never know what's going to work out. Yeah. What, what you did, you jumped in, and you had an idea that you believed yeah. in, and you worked it, worked it, worked it, and it wasn't going, but if you weren't there working that idea, you wouldn't have come up with your second idea. That's exactly right. Huh? It's the right time in the right place. And that's what I tell people all the time. I mean, a lot of what I see, and I mentor a lot of entrepreneurs now who get in for three months, and when it gets the water gets deep, they jump out yeah. and they go back to corporate life. And that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I tell people all the time, like you got to be prepared to, to weather the nasty storms because the opportunity will find you a lot of times, and sometimes you find the opportunity. But here's the deal. Yeah. You will never find the opportunity if you don't do something. Right, absolutely. If you just sit around you and think wait. and brainstorm and plan and yeah. this, you'll never, you'll never see it. You jumped in. Yeah. You know, yeah. so and many people say the best way to swim with your kids, <laughs> when they get to a certain age, throw them, them in, in. <laughs> throw them in the pool and let them swim. Yeah. You just were thrown in the pool, Yeah. you and your partner, Yeah. And but you never got out. Never got out. You kept going. Kept going. You kept going. You kept doing things. Yeah. You got to keep doing things. You got to keep trying things. Yeah. It's there. There is no silver bullet. Yeah. There's no magic formula for anybody. Yeah. You just got to keep going. And it's something like we talked about earlier. It's constant. It's a willingness to embrace failure. Huh. You know, and a willingness to embrace that I don't have all the answers, right? But it's that I'm going to keep trying and keep trying and keep trying until I discover that sort of carrot you know that that, that thing that that is like oh this is then this is working right and, and and follow that one thing and and that's what we did with we and co I mean again I, I haven't necessarily said we and co is the, the wildest success in the world but hey it's profitable it's still around you kept, still helping people kept going kept going and then you went to something else and yep. you know what and that's gonna lead you to something else All right now so you understand the value of failure oh absolutely and yeah. you you take ownership of that failure I'm awesome at failure yeah and in that in that great, I've just finished a book. You can even go to Amazon and you can buy the book. Yeah, it's called The Power of Failure. Mm -hmm. I talk about my failures. Yeah, in, in in business and in sports, I talk about failures of Thomas Edison. Yeah, they asked Thomas Edison one time, "Did you you know? It took you a long time. You must have gotten really disappointed." He said, "Well, I you know probably tried ten thousand experiments." Yeah, ten thousand. They said. It, you, you must have got discouraged. Yeah. No, I knew I was one step closer to getting to, to an answer. You've got to knock on doors. You've got to tr try things and do things and talk to people. Yeah. But if you just sit here yeah. and, and not do things, yeah. nothing happens. Nothing. And you've got to fail and owners own the failure. That didn't work, but what did I learn from that? Right, exactly. Didn't you learn from all your failures? Oh, absolutely. And, and for the first year of We & Co, we literally we didn't embrace that sort of notion that experimentation would lead to failure, which would lead to, lead, lead to learnings. We kept trying the same thing for about nine months, and, and that was in unbelievably frustrating and went nowhere. And it was only after about nine months where we said, we got to try something else. We got to see if there's other opportunities here. And we got really, really comfortable with trying new things and, and, and nine out of 10 of them not working. But it was that, you know, I'd like to tell the story that we actually tried, and I remember this, we tried 29 different experiments with different value propositions, different, um, you know, revenue opportunities, different things to draw people in to use our system. 29. And it was on the 29th one that we saw, you know, that, that our, our traffic to our website quadrupled the usage of our system quadrupled. And that was where the, the oh, oh, what have we just done? What have we just discovered moment? Um, and that was fascinating. And every one of the 29 things you tried yeah. made sense to you when you tried them. Oh, absolutely. I thought and, they were the and, greatest and, idea but, ever. But here's important. I, and this is something we can all, you gotta see the science. Yeah. And the signs are reality. Yeah. If you just have this positive magic, everything is great. Yeah. That's a lie. You've got to look at reality. It doesn't mean you're a defeatist. Yeah. But just being positive never wins. It's 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 staying the it's pounding and pounding and pounding and yeah. pounding and keep trying it. So you tried twenty nine things. Twenty nine things. And, and the, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, and one of the things I found with founders is that to, the point you just made is that we tend to be a, a very op optimistic bunch. Yep we're gonna save the world, we're gonna change the yeah. world, everything's gonna work, and that's a great 
philosophy to have in life in general, but when you're starting a new business, you have to assume failure. And once we kind of t tilted our point of view to say, we're gonna assume this is gonna fail, it's when it, it's made it so much easier to see the, the success, if yes. that makes sense. Yes. It's like all of a sudden we're like, this is gonna fail, this is gonna fail, and then all of a sudden it won't. And, and how many times, for me, every idea that I tried made sense to me. Right. Or made sense to my people. Yeah. Oh, it didn't work. Yeah. And then so many times that 29th thing wasn't maybe the thing that I thought was gonna work, but yeah. holy cow, it worked. Yeah. Go with it. Yeah. Embrace it, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it is such a unique thing because everybody wants to be a winner. <laughs> yeah. Well, winners become winners by trying things. Right. By doing things. You told me a while ago that you were a doer. Yeah. Now, and you are, I can see that. Yeah. But you've, you've got to have people, you've got a partner, mm -hmm. you've got people around you, mm -hmm. and, and I, the ideas don't come just from you, I guess, it comes from everybody. Oh, absolutely. We're, right? we're very big uh, believers in um, allowing everybody on our team to contribute, to talk, talk, to give their ideas. To give their ideas. In without, fact, without, without the, if it comes up with a stupid idea, it's okay. Yeah. I, I, and you don't make them feel bad for a stupid idea. <laughs> I have a stupid idea, but every 35 minutes. Me too. And so, um, Me too. so it, it, understanding that, you know, and my, my partners and I, and we have another, a third partner with Standard Code, we, we have very frank conversations with each other and, and say, that's just a very bad idea. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and then getting used to, cons you know, constructive yeah. criticism or criticism is, is part of what we do. Yeah, so with Standard Code, uh, one of the things that we, we're big believers in is, is constant experimentation, uh, constantly building new products and seeing what works. Uh, in, the, in a little over two years Standard Code has been around, we've probably launched somewhere around a dozen products of which one of them has generated revenue. Uh, and through our learnings with WeEncode, our, our company before Standard Code, we learned how to iterate very, very quickly how to how to see the, the the signals that you might have a product that's that's working, um, and more importantly, how to uh, pivot or change a product uh, much more quickly uh, when you notice things aren't working or or some things might be working. Um, and one of the things that we love to do at, at Standard Code is we. Uh, it, enable our uh, staff to launch their own products and we fund them and we help them and we guide them and that allows us to, to kind of throw a lot more things against the wall and see what works.